Uh, this is my floating dock project. So, um, I need a way to, to be able to launch kayaks now that my dock is uh, 18 inches higher. So, um, I looked at my neighbors next door. His floats uh, that hold up his dock are commercial. And they're, um, I found the cheapest I could find were $200 a piece. So that would be two, four, six, eight. And I figured that was too much. So I found uh, 30, bar 30 gallon barrels from a guy um, locally for $10 a piece. So I got eight of them here. Plus I got two more and I'll show you what that's all about. But anyway, um, the the drums have to be into the location uh, of the dock such that the peak of the radius, the upper radius, doesn't interfere with the, the decking. And when I was first laying these things out, I thought that um, if I put them too high, that the putting, putting two of them next to each other, that I would have an interference problem. So I ended up stacking, uh, moving them apart, but turns out that that wasn't the problem. So I'll show you how I actually did that. But anyway, um, and it's all two by eights. Everything is two by eight. This is all put together with stainless screws, um, you know, throughout in through the, the short box this way, and then, you know, screwed together. I'm gonna, today, I'm going to, this is just to capture the capture the barrels. These barrels, incidentally, are from um, if you open them and you smell the inside of them. I didn't rinse them out or anything. They're from uh, Dr. Pepper, <laughs> so they smell like Dr. Pepper. Uh, anyway, so the you can see the construction. It's I mean it's you know there's nothing special about it, and and that is just to keep keeping in mind that any weight coming down wants to separate the the stringers between the barrels and of course that will keep it from doing that and the uh, same thing with the decking on top so then to hold the barrels in place I bought um, I ended up buying 10 of these so I, I'm using 8 here and then what I'm going to do is I got thinking about how to hold these in, I was going to buy stainless strapping because, you know, the shit in the river, I mean, you know. Um, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice these into like inch and a half straps all the way down. And if you cut them, then they're actually longer than the diameter of the barrel. So I can wrap them down here and screw them into the, into the, uh, the structure of the the deck dock rather and and it'll hold them in place just so that they can't escape so there'll be two straps on each of them so i gotta cut 16 stra uh, straps out of barrels i've got um you see i have the eight over here and then i've got two over on the other side of the yard over there that i'm going to use um and then I'll, I'll do that today the last thing that i need to do is i'm going to put some um, I have aluminum, a couple of aluminum, uh, heavy aluminum pieces that my, my uh, next door neighbor gave me. He's not using. So I'm going to put some straps around the corners. And then I have some small stainless brackets that I'm going to put to the inside of all this to hold the mess together just to, you know, give it a little more strength. And then we're good. Fabricated some, um, some angle brackets that was just flat aluminum my neighbor gave me a couple pieces that were like 20 inches long they're like an eighth of an inch thick so i cut them in half and there were two of them so i cut them in half and they're 10 inches long i took them on my um uh, workbench and i clamped them down and i beat the shit out of them with a hammer to get the angle and then i drilled some holes in them and put them in the corners and I had some, um, these are joist hangers that I had left over from doing the main dock. Um, these are stainless. These are very expensive. They're like, I don't know, $15 a piece maybe. 
anyway but I had three of them left so I put them on there and then these are these uh, little corner brackets here these are also stainless these are made for um, you know yard type stuff but anyway I, I bought them and I used them to to uh, strengthen some of the other stuff around so I put those there and there and you know wherever there wasn't something so they're all around and then I took one of the barrels that I had from the 10 that I got I'm using eight here and I just chopped up one but essentially in order to hold the barrel in so that it can't go any place you know it's captured going you know the, it'll be this will be upside down so um, anyway so I'm gonna screw these in you know if you take them there you can, you can screw them here to the, the face you can screw them to the sides I'm not exactly sure yet but what I ended up doing is chopping up a barrel into 16 strips so there will be two strips two four six eight and another eight over there so 16 strips so I cut 16 strips for eight barrels and there's only barrels at the outside edges here two and two and two and two and uh, and that'll be it so the next thing is my uh, the pendant for my <laughs> controller for my uh, uh, davit shit to bed it got water in it and the whole thing corroded so I got another one and I have to rewire that and then I'm going to use the this to lift this thing up and set it in the water and I'll flip it over so that the barrels are in the water and that the that the uh, uh the we'll be looking down at the top of it and I'll I'm, I've got to go and get some uh, decking but the decking will go on top and then I I will do the rest of the stuff in order to attach it to the seawall so anyway that's the project uh this is the final product here this is uh <laughs> they're not it's kind of hard cutting those barrels uh you know i i just marked uh spots about a quarter around the barrel and tried to aim it with the little saw that i got but anyway uh it doesn't really matter they're they're really strong and then i just um i wrapped them around the barrels the barrels are in there i put the bungs equal this way because i don't think the bungs will be below water line but they're they're all sealed also and um, there's a, a, I have a stainless screw and a stainless washer. The screws are only inch and a quarter long and not very long. And the one in the center is held, the end of the, the first strap and the beginning of the second strap is hold, held with a single screw underneath the barrels. Thing over here. And that's it. So this is actually ready to go into the water when I'll when I get my my little davit running over there, I'll thing weighs a million pounds. Okay. <clears throat> this doesn't get jammed up so easily.
Good morning. <laughs> it's my camera. Are you going to our space, man? Yeah, my camera. You want to push it this way? Uh, yeah, yeah. And I want to put it out over the water, but let this me think what? a second. Let me think a second before we do this. We got to lean it this way. I want to... Uh, I want, want this on the bottom. Right? Oh, yeah, but I want, to, I want this close to the, the seawall here. Okay. And then we can push from the top if we have to. Oh, so right. we'll do that. <laughs> Now be very careful because I know this uh that was this uh which way is gonna go this way, right? It's gotta go that way, yes. but the ends gotta come in this way. There we go. Yeah, Alright, let me um load down. I wish you have a rope so we put it right there on the hole. We can, yeah, let me you think. Know what I mean? Yeah, let me think a second. Let me think a second. Um, yeah, because that son of a gun is heavy. Um, that maybe I should have put it put it in the other way let me think a second awesome. you got a long rope we'll put it this way I go Pull it from this side. Yes, no? Yeah, I'm thinking. Because this one, you gotta go this way, right? Maybe I should have put it. Maybe I should have turned it the other way and it would want to float out that way. So we might not even have to do that. Um, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm it's saying? Really easy. I should have set it in first. Yes. All right, well. Now, be very careful. Watch this. I'm I'm worried because this this wire, this cable has a cut in it. Oh, okay. So it's it. I don't want it to pop. So. Yeah. 
I don't know if we're going to be able to get it that far. Um, no. Youch! Huh? I got squeezed. What? I got my finger squeezed. Oh. <laughs> it still wants it still wants to go the other way. Heavy. I figured with these drums on it, it would be heavier this side. No, hold on. Look at how you gotta do it. Pull this one out and let, leave it down. You know what I mean? Like this. Well, if I can, if I can swing it this way now. Whoa! That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> like that. <sighs> um, you want to press the button, the down button on the on the. Uh... <sighs> yeah, go ahead. Down. I'm yeah, right. down, down. Cable's no good. Okay. More? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I just ordered a new cable this morning. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like this. <laughs> it's in the water. I know. Oh my goodness. Okay. Listen. Can you can I'll do this right here. Yeah. Well, I go get a rope. I'll go get a rope. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, you did a good job. It worked out okay. So, what I'm going to do this morning, I'm going to go get planks. Watch my line, man. Watch that line. Rope. Fishing line. Well? Yeah. Good job, that's all I could say. Oh my goodness. You're gonna leave this one uh, like, like I'll, that? I'll leave it for the time being. When I when I get back down there, I'm old. You don't you want know. the water. I'm, it doesn't matter, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of me, man. Okay, man, thank you. <laughs> well, if you need me, call me. Okay, well, thanks. I want to go fix my line. All right, if we go fix them, yep. <sighs> so... I um, I went to Home Depot and and I grabbed um, 12 pieces of uh, five quarter. Well, I actually went to Home Depot and they didn't have 10 foot long. They had sixes, eights, twelves, and sixteens. So I ended up going to Lowe's, which is fine. Um, 
so for eight and a half dollars a board is what it costs plus I had one 12 footer that I had left over from doing this dock uh, actually doing that section of the dock so I cut the, that down to 10 feet and it took a split end off of it and now I've set them in place I have to rip the last board I could, there was no way that I could space this out right and um, but it's here and I'm gonna I'm gonna rip it now and I put the uh, I put the cleats on and you're seeing that it's the the dock is setting above the water line which is great with nobody on it means that the the wood won't be soaked in water and these are uh, 30 gallon not 55 gallon drums which is fine also and you see that it's about 12 inches off the water which is ideal for kayaking so I'm going to mount that probably over there someplace to keep this this area here okay for maybe a jet ski or a small boat or something like my little boat here and then I put the big boat up there and here I still have to pull the out drive on that and change an oil seal and then that that's ready for the water too so I'm just trying to get ready for the season that's really and plus I I haven't been able to um, kayak really it's kind of difficult I could I could um, launch off my neighbor's dock over there you know he's he's good with that but i did it off of here the other day and you can see it's uh it's four feet down to the water and climbing up and down a ladder getting out of a kayak onto a ladder is no easy easy task so well there it is all buttoned up um all the boards are on everything is screwed down i put the uh, uh cleats on i cut the ends off on the one end actually i had a couple that were short but that's all right i mean like you know a quarter of an inch half inch they just didn't look perfect and then i ran the router around all the cut edges to round them off which is how it looks nice and um that's it my hoist gave up when I, everything done i went to lift my little boat back up and move it back over here and the one of the bolts let loose over here, so I was just lucky that this didn't give way while I was lifting that today. Oh my God, that's heavy. The boat's pretty light. Anyway, all right, that's it. Okay, these are um, these are uh, they call them redheads, but it's a it's a concrete anchor, and you drill a hole for the diameter that you have here and then you drive the end in this way and this expands into the hole that you've done and it's not coming out so then you can so if you drill it in i'm going to drill them in like two inches i guess and that'll leave me about a uh, half an inch to drive so it'll bring it up to here and that'll leave me this much in order to affix my uh, angle brackets and stuff like that and then of course, you know, put the, the nut and whatever. And this is all stainless steel, so it won't rust. Well, rust much.
Let's see here. No, you're gonna have to cut up the thread. No, no, it's, you see the, they're clever. They know that this is the way that it's gonna be. So you see what they do? Okay. They, they make it skinny on the end so that it won't fuck up the threads. The other way that you can do this is you, you actually, you run this out and you hit the nut, you know, but they've actually made these to be hit. All right. All right. It has to be tight, okay, like, like I did. The hole has to be tight. And the reason why is the sleeve needs to fit in there tight, and when you start to crank this down, it pulls this wedge up, up into the thing and expands it. Maybe. So that's what that's what that's all about Maybe. there. No, that's what happens. That's what it is. Okay. So I'm thinking wrong because I was thinking that I would drive this in and this would uh, this piece here would drive against here, but that's not the way the thing is made. So I just have to. I'm going to drill new holes next to these. All right. Go on. How do you, oh, fuck it. I'll put it over here. That's all. That's what I'll do. I'll just put move it over. Cause it doesn't matter. I just I want it. I want it to be there. Be enough, enough um, cement around it that it won't break. That's what. That's what I was just gonna say. Watch from the crack. Make this one go a little lower. Make this one lower. Oops. Okay. Perfect. Okay, good.
be two and a half. Perfect. Ha! <laughs> I say, ha! <laughs> Don't throw up yet. Yeah. We're oh, yeah, finished. All right. All right, exactly. Excuse me. I got to get a, um, I got to get a wrench. Wait, tighten this up. Just leave it like that. And you fix it. Well, I want to get I want to get this in place because then I'm going to put this down and I want to mark the holes because I got to drill holes through that so that you know okay. yeah my friend died and his wife gave me all his tools so oh. these are his tools some of them are his tools That's nice. yeah what the hell was she gonna do with them <laughs> <laughs> he was a pipe fitter. He oh, oh, okay. he worked on uh, yeah he worked on uh, on the Alaska pipeline. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was a welder. You know, I mean, big pipes and uh, and nuclear power plants. So anyway, but he's long gone too. He's he's gone eight years now. Well, he lived hard and fast, and he was a good man, you know. But whatever, it happens. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna set this in there and see if uh, you know it's heavy. It's heavy. More? No, this way, that way. What, which way? Right up, straight up. Straight up. Yep. Up. Yep. <laughs> straight up. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm holding my both hands and then out. Watch, watch your head. That's what I'm afraid. Okay. See me? Gotcha. All right. <laughs> now. Okay. <laughs> exactly. That's one way. <laughs> ah. <laughs> What's the other one? <laughs> Perfect, you know? Try, try to push it from your feet in the bottom. In the bottom. Yeah, with the hammer. Hit it, hit it, hit it with the hammer. Get lift a little. Huh? There, we, there we go. Yeah. There we now go. you're talking. There we go. See what I'm talking? Speak yep, English, yep. right? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Which one? First one. Look, <laughs> it's coming now. Hey, hey, under your fucking thing. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. More? Yeah, we just set it here. Whoops, watch yourself, watch yourself. <laughs> you can push me. Yeah, I got you. Okay. All right. Now I can pick any dimension. Mm -hmm. This is 10 feet, so I make it a foot from each end. Yeah, um, eight. yeah right, right, exactly. Mm.
Ooh. These are heavy. Holy shit, man. At least a hundred and hundred and twenty-five pounds or so. Oof. These are four inch, so they're going to be plenty long. Let's see how this works. All right. God, these fucking things are heavy.
snags and I I didn't uh, show you how some of it's done so I'm gonna go over that but you can see the height of the this is high tide right now so the water's um, at a high level really doesn't matter because this whole thing goes up and down together with the um, the way that the tides go if it's up like it is now it'll be high and if it's low it goes down you always have like 12 inches to get into a kayak off of the edge of the thing and really that's the only reason that I built that you can see how high the um, you know the the regular dock is off the water and the only way to launch a kayak is to get in it off of a ladder like that so it's crazy and I like to go kayaking so anyway um, the way this works, I had these left over. These are I-beams, the steel I-beams, which were spacers for that boat lift, which I'm not going to use for that. So uh, they're 11 feet long. So you can see they're about six feet in the water, maybe at the at the uh, edge of the, the water here at the seawall. And what I ended up doing is I these are left over from my, the old boat lift this is just angle iron uh, steel angle iron with that, which i repainted with aluminum paint I, I primed them and painted them then i drilled into the seawall here with these are uh, expanding anchors they have a little wedge on the back side of them you drill in this is about two and a half inches in and then you slide this thing in you tap it in and when you start to redo the uh, uh, thread it pulls the thing out and pulls that wedge into the thing and it expands into the concrete. These are going no place. So there's one, two, and on the other side there's three, four. Got a little rust here that's got to be fixed too. And then I drilled, I set these in, the, um, in against the, the bottom of the river, and I marked the holes. These are across from each other, the holes in this side and that side are across from each other and then I, I marked the hole here and I drilled through. This is a uh, stainless steel bolt with lock washer and washer and nut. Same thing at the bottom, I did the same thing over there. So this then is held against the seawall and it's not going any place. You know, you got the four anchors here, you got the bolts across through the this I-beam. The I-beam is not going to bend and it's the same way over there. And then what I ended up doing is I had, this is, uh, these are aluminum angles off of the, uh, the bunks that I purchased. So, um, I just, um, this is an L it's screwed into the, although this is fucked up cause I didn't get the bolt on the bottom. So that's not one that I should show you, but anyway, um, so, um, this angle is screwed into the face of the dock. And then these are bolted together. I have half inch 13 bolts that I, I uh, spotted and drilled through top and bottom. And then this just captures the I-beam on one side and the other side so that it can float up and down and, and it, can, it, can, you know, it can move out a little bit like that, but it can never escape. So you can move all you want. And then I took, this is just a, another deck board here and I took a piece of the old um, a barrel that I used to strap the the uh, floats in the, the floating barrels the 30 gallon barrels are underneath here eight of them and I just cut one piece because this stuff is um, UHMD ultra high uh, molecular density polyethylene and it's it's tough shit right, man I mean it, it's so it's like, this is a, a slide, it's a skid against the, the face of this thing. It just is like, you know, it's smooth. And I just screw that in, of course, the, the screws that hold this board to the thing, and it's just a spacer, are um, in place. And they hold the thing into, into position like that. So that no matter what happens, the thing, it's got a little top of the tarp here. This is not, I didn't get this one straight, and I'm not going to try to redo this, this hole, but um, this one is not, um, but it doesn't matter. It's still not going anyplace. I can move this around a little bit, but that, all that hardware is not going to allow it to go anyplace. So anyway, you have what you have. Here's the, uh, here's the floating dock. It's, um, you can sit out here and drink cocktails. You can launch your kayak. 
can swim off of this. The only thing that I still have to work out is right now we're at high tide and it's very easy to step up and step out. At low tide, I could be another three feet lower. And so if I have three feet and, um, oh, and there's a dolphin. <laughs> Anyway, it, the um, there he goes. He went under under the boat lift. I can hear him come up for air. He's over at the next uh, in my neighbor's house now. They come and fish along this. You hear him. Anyway, so um, my neighbor over my neighbor has a. Uh, ladder, a aluminum ladder that's actually in the water and it's sandwiched between the edge of the So my neighbor's ladder is sandwiched between his dock, the fixed dock, and the floating dock. And I'd like to do that here, except his uh, I-beams, which were specifically their aluminum, are much wider than this, uh, pulled the dock farther away from the thing. So I don't know that I have about four and a half inches here. So I might still be able to put a ladder in here. Which otherwise, I'll have to figure out something, but to put some sort of a step or set of steps or something on here in order to step out so uh, anyway this is the uh, this is the way that it is you can see the there's a typical kayak and you can see getting into it is really easy where'd my guy go there were three of them in here earlier today I don't know where they went The last piece of this is once this lumber has a chance to sit in the sun a little bit and to temper, then I'll I'll uh, put some water seal on it like I did on the main dock, uh, uh, you know, Thompson's, just to protect it from the sun and protect it from the, the water. And uh, it's you know severe. It's a premium premium boards with stainless steel screws. Um, and that's about it. So I'm pretty happy with the way everything turned out. Um, there you have it. Thanks for watching.